So, I don't know if I should be narrating or something. Yay, idle time, original clock. Box, box, box. All right, there are unpacking instructions. Just finished watching the entire video, or most of it anyway. Uh, stop. Before unpacking, read the unpacking instructions. Failure to do so may void your warranty. So scary. It is so scary. Uh, that's a lot of packing peanuts. Warranty. It's a novelty clock and should not be taken too seriously when it comes to telling time. Um, Don't use it for the LRH. Yes. LHR. LHC. Whatever it is. That's the one. Basically just seems to describe if it's frequently off time, uh, keep track of how off it is and when you have to reset it, why or when, and then let them know. Sounds reasonable. And then of course it goes in further into his... Uh, very unique order creation method. So if I have another order I am working on, I will finish that order first before starting on your repair. So unique. It's got a serial number. 311. Wow. Nice. That's like a very low number. It is a very low number. <laughs> the address mm -hmm. and everything. And unpacking and setup instructions. Never ever pull on any parts of the clock at any time. Completely read and understand these instructions before attempting to remove the clock from its shipping container. Failure to follow these instructions may void your warranty. The clock has been assembled using state-of-the-art adhesives, glues, and mechanical type fasteners. But it is still extremely fragile to force its place on it by someone pulling on it in areas that were never designed to take such forces. All right, I think I understand. Okay. First step. All right, since the box is open, the first step is to carefully remove as many of the packing peanuts as possible by hand. So much styrofoam. Oh no, I missed. Oh no. I'm never ever to pull on the rails or any parts of the clock, so I have to be careful. And somewhere in here, there should be an inner cardboard lining, I see it. Somewhere in here is gonna be the lifter arm, and I'm definitely going to avoid touching that. Mm -hmm. Don't ever touch it. Don't ever touch it. A little, look at this one. <laughs> Remove as much of the peanuts as possible, then return the box to its normal upright position. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Yep. Next step, may need assistance from a second person. One person should hold onto the outer shipping box carton and the other person carefully grasps the inner liner and pulls it and the clock from the shipping box. Again, never ever pull on the clock itself. Liner is a little lodged. Bad noise. It's a clock. And inside are still the little balls, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Lift the clock itself from the base and then see how many peanuts come away with it. Wow, that is uh, pretty firmly 
Say glued. Attached. Carefully hold the clock by the base of the clock, never by any of the tracks or other parts of the clock, and remove the staples that attach it to the liner. Wow. Hmm. All right, so more peanuts come away first then. Yep. I'm terrified to touch every part of this clock, and I, the more I know about it, the more I think it cannot possibly be this fragile. Yeah. So I shouldn't be that freaked out, but okay. There is an inscription. Aww. What does it say? I've loved you, every one of the 15,760. Oh, wait, sorry, 15,768,000 minutes you've been in my life, and I will love you until there are no more. Aww. Love, Dad. March 28, 2016. That is very, very, very sweet. Nice. A little sweet. morbid, but very sweet. <laughs> this is definitely going to be something that gets passed down mm -hmm. forever. Forever. I love all the peanuts in the tracks. <laughs> it's really funny to me. Yeah. Okay, it's probably enough that we could find the staples. So. I have to tilt this thing upside down. I would imagine. It would be on the bottom. All right. I need some kind of pliers. Can I see them? Let's show the world. Nice. Yeah, that is sturdy. So we've removed all the packing peanuts from everywhere, removed the liner and the clock from the box, and now we need to detach the staples. Um, they are really stuck on there. So, I don't exactly know the best tool for this. He recommends a variety of things. Including fingernails. Well, I don't know who the heck's fingernails might be strong enough for that. Mine might. That's crazy. You're crazy. Let's move this guy. Well, that one wasn't even attached. So that's one way. You know, if I thought about this, I would have found actually pause. Staples aren't exactly completely removed. But be careful, there is there are some still in there, so. Oh, still on the hard one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's uh it's some writing on the bottom. There is? Yeah. It's uh the signature of uh Joe My Mayor Mayor. Main shine. Yeah. Cool. And uh I hope you enjoy this clock as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Very yeah. sweet. And it has the date, 425-2016 was the date that I think it was shipped. Hmm. And his serial signature. Number. And the serial number. Yeah. All and right. We're going to try and yank those uh, staples out. Yes. So we got all the staples out. Beautiful clock. Beautiful clock. Very beautiful. Almost all of the styrofoam bits are gone. Remnants of those staples. They were Ooh. a beast. Yep. Great. And the lovely signature and everything on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Let's get that again. There we go. Beautiful. Um, get a full view of everything now. Mm -hmm. So, got the back loading arm. Don't touch it. Nope, I will not. Got the cord. Back track. And everything. All right, now we need to make sure. Snip some uh, rubber bands, right? Yes, yeah. we need to snip the rubber bands. I'm not sure if I should put them in place first hmm. or what. He doesn't talk about this. This is just, well, this is just really unpacking. Okay, wait, remove the staples, whatever you need, bag of balls. Mm -hmm. And location needs to be near a power outlet mm -hmm. and level. Mm -hmm. Nowhere there might be water because it's electric. 
boogie woogie woogie and away from children since they are fascinated with the workings of the clock and because the small parts shiny balls there is a choking hazard <laughs> don't forget about any pets cats are especially interested in the clock as well best that way Leia. yep he also talks about uh security systems making sure that the ball dump doesn't trigger your motion mm -hmm. sensor mm -hmm. or something um now he doesn't say in this but I know we need to snip these rubber bands. So let's let's do that first yeah. before leveling it. And to be very specific in the setup video, do not try and remove the rubber bands, just cut them. So snip, snip, Oof. and they go flying. Remove remnants before moving on. So many rubber bands, snip. Oh, that cut into two pieces. There we go. And snip. Whoop. Well, that other piece is gone. Yeah. Lost to the ages. And wow, this one's holding on for dear life. Gone. Hope Leia doesn't eat these. Oh, no, there it is. Surgical snip. Oh, still a little bit hanging on there. Man, it's gonna need a third snip. Well, let's come back to that. Let's go snip one. Yep. That boomerang somewhere. Nope. Probably still attached. Yeah, it's the whole thing looks like. Okay. And then another snip. Okay, there's that one. Let's go back up to number two. Where is the easiest place to snip this guy? Oh, it's actually just clear. Shoot, come on. There we go. So Beautiful. I need to make sure these all move freely. They seem to. Mm-hmm. <coughs> all right. Now our, oh, there's another rubber band on the cord. I'm going to go ahead and snip this too, per mm -hmm. instructions. Although that one I probably could have safely removed. Still, instructions are instructions. Yes. So, clock goes into its lovely place. And we're going to check it with the level. The, check the table first. Okay, table is level. Let's check. Okay, that's not exactly gonna sit there very, very nicely. Nope, doesn't wanna stay. But let's see, all around the table is fairly level. It is pretty safe to infer that the thing itself is level two. One degree off. Or not, depending on margin of error, probably. So we are pretty, pretty good. Pretty green and good. All right, we've plugged it in and the pickup arm is moving. All of these devices are moving. I'm a little concerned about that one because it's rubbing a little, but we'll just have to see. Now we need to set the time. Very cool. But there's nothing for it to pick up yet. So currently here it is 840. So we need clean track. One, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're in five, well, it's in 10 minute increments, but it's five got five, yeah, it's got five notches per ball. Uh, I said 40. By the time I'm done with this, it might be 41. 840, 841, actually. All right. So, and then the remainder go into the return.
I didn't actually count them to make sure there were enough. I think we might have to put uh, the two up there. You think? Still 841 by my... Yeah. But so this thing would be dropping two right now. You're right. Well. And we're never going to get it to the second. I guess that's true. Well, we could by unplugging it and plugging it yeah, back sure. in. So the two would be dropping in right now, but it's still 841. Here comes the pickup arm again. Let's see. Is it going to pick one up? And there it goes. Guess what? It's now 842. All right. So that sounds that's pretty close. Pretty good. Yeah. We're going to go with it. Let's watch it go. Beautiful. 842. Pretty awesome. It's pretty excellent. Great birthday gift. Yes. It's beautiful. Works nicely. Thanks, Daddy.